starts now. The Minnesota Secretary of State is encouraging mail-in voters to submit their applications and their ballots as soon as possible. One reason is that federal judges are now considering whether mail-in ballots received after Election Day should even be counted. In September, a Republican lawmaker and a GOP activist who are electors for the presidential race pursued legal action against an August court ruling that allows ballots received after the election to be counted as long as they are postmarked by November 3rd. And today, judges from the 8th U.S. Circuit of Court of Appeals heard arguments from both sides of this issue, and Fox 47's Cambria Bray did as well and joins us now in our studio and camp. Should mail-in voters be concerned about this? Well, Maddie, if you haven't sent your ballots by now, maybe a decision yesterday went against extending a vote counting extension in Wisconsin. Should Minnesota mail-in ballots be counted after Election Day? Federal law absolutely bars counting votes in federal races that election officials don't even have in hand on Election Day. While the attorney for the Secretary of State says it's too late to make a change a week away from Election Day. There will be massive confusion and disenfranchisement. There is no way for us to alert the voters with their ballots telling them in large letters to make sure every voter gets this, to say, no, the deadline is changed on the eve of the election. Other states have had the same dispute. The U.S. Supreme Court sided with Republicans Monday to prevent Wisconsin from counting mailed ballots that are received after Election Day. Plaintiffs in the Minnesota case say ballots counted after the election could complicate things. Here, uh, a ruling by the court on the merits would actually serve to avoid disruption of the election and would serve to allow voters uh, to vote confidently and to understand what rules will govern the counting of their ballots. The defendant says plaintiffs are only concerned about this issue impacting the presidential race. And they're not challenging it as it applies to federal elections for Congress or Senate. And it would cause this problem of segregating the ballots for the presidential election. We need to communicate to voters that there are different deadlines if you want to vote for president, different deadlines if you want to vote for these other things. Get them in. The deadlines changed the last second for the presidential election. Uh, that would be um, really utter chaos. It's not clear when the judges will issue a ruling on this case in the studio, Kamaria Bray Fox, 47 News. All right.